see any difference? Yeah, I see a bunch. A truly eye-opening experience for those New Mexico students this week. It started with just a, a random trip to the Rio Rancho Public School District offices. They had no idea why or for what until they saw rows of color correcting glasses right on a table inside. Those special glasses introduced them to a version of the world they really thought they would never see. All right, Brianna Wilson was there for that exciting time and Brianna, they really saw color for the first time. Yeah, that's absolutely right. They, of course, were excited, especially since they got to tour an art exhibit with those fresh eyes just seconds after receiving their gift. And the man who donated these glasses to Rio Rancho Public Schools said he'll never get used to watching students adjust in those first moments. It just gives them goosebumps every time. One, two, change your lights. It was a countdown these kiddos didn't see coming. On the count of three, one, two, change your lights. He's smiling. <laughs> but both the surprise and world around them became clear in seconds when the Rio Rancho middle and high schoolers put on their new in chroma glasses for the first time. So I had a lot of trouble seeing colors like maroon and brown and purple and blue. I have a dream of either going pro or at least playing AAA baseball. Um, so hopefully this will help me see the ball a lot better. It feels like a whole new experience, something not a lot of people can experience, you know, once in a lifetime. I do art in my spare time. I want to become an animator, so the ability to see color as other people do is really useful for that kind of work. Wow. That's a lot brighter. Nice. <laughs> What's something that you're looking forward to seeing now with these new glasses? <laughs> my own art. <laughs> the majority of colorblind people are males. So I was thrilled when we saw Kaylin's name come up to give her some glasses too. Ronald Neldon is the man behind the generous surprise. I don't know if anyone's going to give you the props that you deserve. Well, I appreciate that. It means, it means a lot. Thank you. The reason I'm doing this is back June 25th, 1996, my life was redefined. I survived a terrorist attack over in Saudi Arabia. Through that experience, Neldon says he witnessed the miraculous ability cochlear implants have to restore sound for the deaf. So with the settlement he received from the attack, he wanted to restore color for the colorblind. So this is something that you want to do every year? Oh yeah, definitely, because the need for the kids is never ending. With the help of donations, family, friends, fellow survivors from the attack, we were able to bump it up to 10 pair this year. Next year, I'm hoping for 15 to 20 pair. Each pair costing up to $300. The smiles, the laughter, just seeing their reactions compared to what they used to see versus now, it's worth every penny to me. And it's, I say it all the time, it's all about the kids. Now, Neldon says this year's donation cost just under $2,000, and there were still about 12 to 15 kids they were unable to give glasses to this year. So that's why he's already raising money for next year's donation, hopes it will be the biggest yet. We're going to include info on how you can help with this story at KOB.com. Pretty special stuff there. Brianna, thanks.